use of force. It can take on many different forms within a police department, but not all forms are always reported. But the Metro Nashville Community Oversight Board wants to change that. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael sat in on tonight's special board meeting. And Olivia, what specific type of force are they looking at? Rory, often when we think of use of force, it usually involves a weapon. But tonight, community oversight board members discussed what's called soft, empty hand control. So the MMPD manual, the revised manual, defines soft, empty hand control as the use of physical strength and skill in defensive tactics to control arrestees who are reluctant to be taken into custody and offer some degree of physical resistance. Examples of soft empty hand control include manipulating certain pressure points, controlled takedowns and joint manipulation techniques as to not injure the person. According to COB research, 51% of the country's largest 50 police departments require those types of incidents to be reported. But here in Nashville, that's not the case. Currently, Metro Police are only required to report a use of force if the suspect is injured during the arrest. The COB is recommending all uses of force be reported with the new guidelines in place by January 1st. So the community can really understand both what force officers are using, but also what resistance officers experience. So we don't have the full equation of whether uh, the force officers use or the resistance that officers face when they're doing their jobs. And the board heard comments from the public today, but will not vote on the new recommendations until their next meeting in two weeks. To find out how you can submit your comments, go ahead and visit newschannel5.com. Live at the Five Alert Center, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.